porn tube sites threaten children and actors, critics say. Documentary maker and former porn star Ovio D says the pirating of videos on the free-to-view websites means fewer films are made and fee fees have been slashed. Paris, a new documentary, claims that pornography has gotten uglier and nastier, with actors forced to shoot more hardcore films for less since the explosion of free-to-view internet sites like YouPorn and Pornhub. Pornocracy, made by Ovidi, a former French porn star turned director, claims that far fewer films are now being made and fees have been slashed up to tenfold. She blames tube sites, so-called, because they resemble YouTube, which have been accused of hosting thousands of videos pirated from traditional adult entertainment companies. Critics say children are also getting their first exposure to sex through the sites. And they worry about the effect porn culture is having on the way teenage boys treat girls. Yeah, by the way, um, in Iraq and when they invaded, uh, they flooded all the broadcasting networks with porn. Just saying. Tubes are also blamed for making porn consumption so commonplace that last week's London transport system was forced to warn people that who watched porn on buses and trains would be reported to the police. Let me repeat that. Last week's London's transport system was forced to warn that people who watched porn on buses and trains would be reported to the police. Children's campaigner Marie Durain, an advisor to the French Women and Families Minister, said the exploitive nature of tube sites was extremely worrying. Their economic model goes beyond even that, even what is at stake in terms of pornography, she told AFP. Nearly all pirated. Gregory Dorsell, who heads Mark Dorsell, Europe's third biggest adult entertainment group, said 95% of the 10, uh, 100 billion porn clips watched on the web last year were pirated. His company alone has made 5 million request to Google for its videos to be taken down from tubes. But 48 hours later, the videos are back online, OVD says. Her documentary claims that a little-known company called MindGeek, headquartered in an empty office in Luxembourg, is now porn's most powerful player, holding a monopoly-like grip on the industry. But MindGeek, which prefers to be seen as a company and makes no reference to porn on its website told AFP that it operates only four tube sites Pornhub, YouPorn, RedTube and Tube8 Claims that we dominate the industry are nonsense, a spokeswoman said, saying that only three of its sites ranked in the top ten of the world's most visited adult sites Pornhub alone, however, is the 11th most 11th most viewed site in the U.S., just behind Wikipedia, Twitter, and Instagram. MindGeek says it's simply a platform for its 1,000 content partners that upload content and benefit from the exposure on our sites. There is a lot of misinformation about how tube sites function, the spokeswoman said. She said it followed YouTube's lead on managing the issue of copyrights. There is no room in our model for the assumption that content is pirated, she added. She claimed instead that they had formed positive symbiotic relationships with most of the major players in the industry. Many traditional adult filmmakers dispute this, also complaining that while they are subject to strict regulations on age, the tubes can easily be viewed by children. Kids see porn by 11. The French pressure group Innocence, which is trying to make regulation of the tubes an issue in the country's coming presidential election, said children now tend to view porn at age 11. Its president, Gordon Choisel, Choisel, Gordon Choisel, said they were being bombarded with adult images through internet adverts from a very young age. 
You think your child is watching a cartoon, but then a window pops up with porn, he said. Choiselle said governments had to attack the site's advertising streams. We have to come up with legislation that is flexible enough to adapt to changes in technology and the way videos are being watched, he said. Duran, author of a 2012 report on children's viewing habits, said porn was shaping many young people's view of sex. Sexuality in real life is not like that, he said, but children who have grown up watching tubes have trouble making that distinction. I have been involved in a number of very serious criminal cases where boys have systematically done to girls what they saw on porn, he, she said. Pornocracy also dealt with the explosion in cam girl sites and what OVD termed as the new proletariat of sex, the new proletariat of sex, who work long hours on them. She said the women get only aroused 15% of what their clients pay to watch them perform online. Up to 70% goes to such platforms, including Live Jasmine, also based in Luxembourg, which has annual revenue of more than $300 million and has made its owner, Gagorian Gatyan, Hungary's second richest man, according to Forbes magazine. But Martin Fulop, the operations director at Live Jasmine, which is often called the Peep Show Uber, justified the amounts paid <clears throat> to its 2 million registered cam girls, saying it was a tech company that provided a very good platform. Okay, let's view these reactions. First, liberals were pushing to normalize porno in the Western society to vindicate homosexualism. Then they pushed us to accept prostitution as adult entertainment. And now they complain that our kids get rotten over that. So the porn industry and social critics worry about the effect porn culture is having on the way teenage boys treat girls should have listened to those of us during the Nixon administration when we flatly told you what pornography was doing to young men. Instead, with the visual of greenbacks in your eyes, you mocked the science and ridiculed the messenger, and now you want to complain about the falling wages of porn actors? Dumb. Very dumb. As Rome crumbles because of its weakened, distracted men. Again, dumb. But if they stopped porn, how would Trump supporters ever get off? Sounds like they are more worried about not getting paid than the social impacts. Yeah, you're right. MN does sound like that. Typical liberal hypocrisy. They're worried about the effect porn culture is having on the way teenage boys treat girls, but then they have been their usual condescending, scornful selves when we the people say the same about the brutal violence and misogyny in video games. It's funny how they're, they're, this porn star is worried about the effect porn culture is having on the way teenage boys treat girls. Um, you get facials and you, oh, whatever, I'm not going to get into it. Once you break the sexual barrier, you can only go further down into the sewer of depravity. And boy, have we been breaking the barriers. When you see how much it's changed since Leave it to Beaver days, just 50 some years ago, you best hold on to your hat for the next 50 because nothing seems to be slowing the descent. Why are porn participants called porn stars? Porn is a form of male birth control. Whoa, Jim Bob, that's a good one. F porn is a form of male birth control. Come on, free porn has been around since the internet started. All you had to do is search for it. The tube sites are just the ones that have survived and grown. Porn stars either take it or quit. You know the quitting won't happen. How cool is it to get paid for having sex? Regular TV has gotten way uglier and nastier here too. The physical violence is way up. With all the 
con con mimin, soft porn oops and grunts ugh yeah i just wanted to say really quick that um i went on to it was direct tv online and it seems like in every category they have horror now they have horror and like uh bloody slasher uh just like kind of satanic films in every category that used to not be like that so there are and that's a that's a proposition i forget where it was written it's been written but um to uglify the society by making horrible ugly art and um you know shove down their throat ugly stuff and now you're seeing this this whole scene Ugh. Let's read a couple more. Concerned parents can block websites and content from their children's devices. People always blame someone else for failure to take responsibility, like blaming the firearm and not the trigger puller, or blaming the cake and ice cream rather than the spoon holder. That's a good one. Funny how paying someone for sex is illegal unless someone is videotaping it. Oh, Steve, that's a good one, too. Oh, poor gal, not making enough money, getting laid for a living. Oh, the children, the poor children. Anytime someone has to use children as their focal point for denouncing adult entertainment and behavior, you know they are full of shit. The bottom line to this article is just about money, period. Couldn't agree more. She's more concerned with the financial aspect of than kids viewing it. Number one, the internet is causing all sorts of financial issues. This isn't a porn industry problem, it's a people problem. Kids see porn by 11. Kids by 5 see ultra-realistic murders, rapes, and stabbings of women on TV morning, noon, and night. I just saw one show where the blood was gurgling out of a stabbing victim's throat. My, my, my. How do the special effects people do that? When I was a kid, my dad used to hide his Playboy magazines under his mattress. Of course, we found them and got a look at them. I only read them for the articles, though. We should be stopping all the violence in war. Make love, not war. I'd bet the global one-world elites are behind this to turn the masses into mind-numb slaves. That will be easy to control through their internet addictions. Indeed, Steve, <clears throat> it's a form of war. Porn is a form of warfare. You don't believe me? Look it up. Research it. This has been James from the Research Revolution. I'm out of here.